What is happening people? It's your boy Stunner. We're back with another video. Uh before I start, I just wanna say a big thank you to you lot. You've um shown some mad love recently. The last two videos both over over two hundred uh views. We've gone over a hundred subscribers. The love you guys have been showing me just is mad, it's crazy. So, yeah. Appreciate that. Um because obviously now lands are seem to be in flow, seem to be going. Um and I've been pumping out some content. I'm gonna be doing these um these post vlogs of like 2k events, land events, whatever I'll be playing. That's um, obviously like some sort of competitive event, whether it be online or land. So yeah, here's this one here for the the uh, the ACCL Spring Invitational. Um, the team and I got top 24, which I'm not gonna, I'm not happy with at all. I'm all disappointed. Um, you know, with the individuals who had in that team, we had some, you know, real talent, and I'm um. I think we underperformed heavily, to be honest. There's a lot of teams that made some good runs. A lot of teams that wouldn't expect to make runs. And um I mean I think we definitely should have maybe like I mean I wouldn't have been happy with like a top sixteen or top eight, but finish it out around there. But then again, that's me being optimistic. We didn't have much practice, but I'll get into that in a bit. Um so the uh a bit of context before we go into the, the uh the matches and stuff that we played. Um so it was Genji, Swin and Portal who were my teammates and they were afraid, afraid can go to the event for whatever reason. Um, so with about a week and a half left, they picked me up under Val Raven who, you know, the the owner or the manager of Marco, great guy, I spoke to him a little bit in the DMs. Um, you know, he was really supporting us, wanting us to do well. Um, and yeah, we went to the, went to the event. Um, we swapped roles at the very start because Swin was on the flex and the Freda was on a sub. And even though I'm a sub player, um, I was I was liking the flex at the time, and um, you know Swin was a sub also. I thought let me just let Swin do his thing, let him uh, go under the roles more comfortable with, and I'll I'll take the flex. Um, so we've done that. Um, we had like a week and a half to practice. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think really used our time efficiently to be honest. We definitely could have. Could have worked a bit harder. We had we only had the week and a half, so there's not a lot you can do at that time. But we like we definitely were lazy, I'd say, and like we could have worked so much harder. Um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, going into the event, I mean, we for sure like we we thought we could win. You know, what I mean, it's a land event, anyone's game, as long as uh, as long as you're at the event, you could win it. You know, I mean, simple as that. So that was our mentality going into it. Um. But with our practice, yeah, so it was broke down like this. Our control was really good, lights out. Um, our comms were good, everything like that. Our point was our worst game by far. Like I don't know, our comms weren't good. We were like speaking super fast. Um, the flow, the map just didn't feel right. We weren't helping each other. No small talk. The whole point was just really a mess. And S and D was good. Inconsistent at times, but it was good for the most part. Um, so yeah. Go to the land. Our first winners round game is against XC Nation, which I believe was yours, DB, NT, and Lenzo. So that's that's the squad we were gonna play. And for us, we were looking at the game like, okay, we can win that. that that's a good way to start the, the winners round one. Um, it was a team that we didn't know too much about, so we weren't sure if they were like really good, really bad. What they were good mode, bad modes. Um, but on the Friday of the event, the uh, the day before the land, we obviously were allowed to go into the venue and practice a little bit. Uh, my teammates didn't even land in uh, Sheffield until Saturday morning. Um, well, no, I went in there to shoot some bots. I wanted to get used to the venue that I was going to be playing in. And um, I saw DB's uh, team, or XC Nation, whatever you want to say. They were scrimming uh, against Murphy's team. Now, up to this point, I didn't see any of the maps. It was the last map, I think. The last half point was just Tuscan. And uh, in XC Nation, they won the Tuscan against Murphy. Yeah, so I got to watch them scrim. Um, and then, yeah, so I didn't know what the maps were, but someone told me that they basically lost all the maps to Murphy and the Tuscan they won, right? So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, the scrim, you can't really take too much from it, but I was like, do not. Tuscan, we didn't replay it much anyway. I feel like Good View 2 is probably our best map. Um, so, do you know what? Let's just ban Tuscan. Oh no, forget the viewers. So, that happens. We, uh, we go to sleep, wake up. It's the day of the, the round one. Um, now going into this, I felt optimistic. Also, I felt like our mentality going into this was a bit bad as well, you know, from a personal level and from a team standpoint. 
from a team standpoint, um, I feel like we overlooked them a lot. Like more than we should. We should have showed them a lot more respect. Not because we thought they were bad, but because the next game we had, which was against Dave, BB Connor, PE, and Henry. And of course, a great team, a mix of top hams and pros, or former pros, sorry. Um, but PT and Dave hadn't played the game, or at least hadn't played it for long. They were playing Halo, so there was a good chance for us for the make upset there. And I think us talking about it in the build up to the LAN, we got a bit excited and we're probably looking ahead of the road, you know. Like we're, lo we're looking at the road we were taking before we got into the car type thing, to use an analogy. But um, yeah, and I think that really hindered us when we were playing against XC Nation because um, we didn't, we started off quite slow. I'd say the hard point was Berlin, which was like our second or best hard point, however you want to say it. We're playing it and I started off like really well and this is where I'm going to kind of go into why my mentality at the start of the land was quite bad. Um, we go into it, I was like, I wasn't really nervous to be honest, like I was a bit nervous like waiting because you know when you wait and you say, oh thank, so I was a bit nervous but I don't know, I was, I was feeling good, I knew I was going to fry. So we go into it, the first thing that happens in the game is I pop a free piece. I pop a free piece, I was using, there was some, some issue of the accounts I'm sure most people know. Um, so I was on like Craxis Rico or something like that, and I pop a free priest, and I scream, "Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my god!" And I was, I was, you know what I mean? Like you get guests on land, but like that's where the the problem started, I think, because I was getting like too hyped, and I kind of like burnt out near the end of the series. Um, and then later on during the land, kind of composed myself, and that's that's what lands about, you know what I mean? Like I've never been there before; it's a good experience, and kind of now I know to kind of reserve my energy, use my energy, when to talk rubbish, when to not talk trash. You know what I mean? That's that type of thing. So yeah, that happens. We lose the half point. I think two fifty one ninety. Um, we've done some stupidness, man. Like P three. Um, the P three is like those times that we we like worked really well, and it's like it's crazy. Like we look like a super good team on half point. Um, worked the map well. You know, trading and stuff. Uh, baiting and switching. We like have the P three rotation, and then we just lose it straight away. And I'm pretty sure it happened both times. And if you know in Berlin, P three is like a big money hill. You know what I mean? So um. Then yeah, going into the S and D, Berlin was our best S and D map I think from our practice and stuff. Um, and I'm guessing these guys were quite good there too because it ended up going to round eleven, um, which yeah. we, I wouldn't say choked because I think the other way you could have choked around eleven was if you had the advantage. And I think it was like a four v two. And then we just we just gave away like the stupid deaths that we didn't need to, just like single push and stuff like that. Um, we lost round eleven. It was easily avoidable. Could have won that map. And that would have been a lot better for the series because we would have made it one one. Yeah. Now we're down to our right? Um and in this map I can't like going into it. We put ourselves at a heavy disadvantage. Like my teammates, because like their flights were booked super late, like they had like three hours sleep coming to the venue. We had no like formal like practice other than myself on the land and things, whereas the other teams scrimmed on the, the PC so they know what they feel like. So I can't lie, it was really bad preparation for us as a team. Um in the future I'm gonna make sure my team's definitely more prepared. Um but we don't have any slow starts because starting early at land is no understatement so important like starting when when that one is round one match compared to losing it uh, the bracket you get is is crazy it's night and day so much more easier to go further in tournament when you don't lose in, in the first round but anyway control right so down to oh even the castle are saying it like this xc nation team is like a great team by raven they need to get something going and boom this is like this is literally the best way to regain like we came out smoked them for you like i even spoke to the boys after that on xc nation like dennis yours and t are speaking to and they were, they were saying like they were surprised like the the past two games are obviously close but like you know like they won the game um and like they just they didn't expect to like they thought control at least was gonna be close if they were gonna lose but we like just we dominated we controlled the map controlled every point we're getting kills i was getting streaks we were just capping points, they just couldn't stop us, you know, like, the the, the cast is even saying we are playing with, like, Optic, like, it was that good. And I generally believe that our Berlin control, like, we were one of the best teams at that event, at that, with, at that map. And we were like, we were so good at it. Every time we scrimmed, we won it every time, no problems. So we win that, 3-0, reverse sweep is on. I start saying to DB, DB, don't let me reverse sweep you. Do not let me reverse sweep you. And I was speaking to him after, and he told me that it was actually working, it was actually getting to his head. I can't lie, I didn't think it was working. Um, but I thought, you know what, let me target DB, because 
he's the one like the main catalyst on their team. He's the one that was like playing the best. So I can break down their best player. They don't make it easy. I mean, um, and it did work. You know, the bow cage was map four. Probably our best half point map, just from the fact that well, not the best, but like it was the one that we we're most likely to win every time. Just because we weren't the greatest half point team, and bow cage kind of favors that because you know, it was small map, three lanes was simple. It was, it's just it's, it's an easy half point map to play. Um, and we were doing good. Like I started off really well. The rest of the boys started off well. The score was about 94 to 70 something. I think DB was like 5 and 15 or something like that. So their best player wasn't doing too well. So my, my trash talk was actually working, which at the time I didn't know because obviously I, you, I wasn't looking at scoreboards and stuff like that. I wasn't really paying attention to how they're playing. I watched it back and it was actually working. It was kind of crazy because I generally thought like DB was just like blocked it out and he didn't like thing, but apparently it was working. Anyway, so unfortunate. Yeah, map four, reverse sweeps on. These guys, like, they're starting to break a little bit. We're starting to gain some momentum. You know, Codal momentum base. Then heartbreaking thing. I think something happened with their TS. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I, I'm, it's controversial, whatever, but I, I don't care. Like, if something happens, something happens, isn't it? I think their TS bugs out, so they leave. I have to restart the map. We had P5 control as well. So, good chance we would have had, like, a 40 point lead. 40 point lead in both cage. Kind of hard to come back from. So, probably would have won it. But, we don't do if maps and maybe's around there. What the hell they say in Liverpool? Um, if I win, I want to win certainly in fair and square. So if it's a map reset, it's a map reset. We'll just win the next one. Unfortunately, we didn't. And I can't lie, I thought my resilience was a bit better, and I thought at the time I was, but I guess I'll just be naive because I can't lie. Now that I look at it, that reset made me lose four. I I was trying to stay composed, and I felt like I was, but bro, the second the, the, the reset just I I just, I don't know. I couldn't get anything going. I think I almost went double neck. I was, I don't know, I was struggling to find, you know, like when, like you're having a good game, something stops it, and then you go into the game again, and you start slow, and just like, every gun fight you're going into, like you're just getting weird timing, so it was, it was one of those maps, and um, yeah, I apologize again to the boys, I guess, because um, if I play a little bit better, I, um, we'd probably win the map, I mean, it was kind of close again, but yeah, if we, if we went into the map 5, we probably could have won the series, because Bow cage and Berlin, like the the whole maps, all the maps, the triple Berlin, the double bow cage was the best map set we could have had. Um, yeah, I mean, I learned a lot from that from that loss. That was the, the composure side to it, the not burning yourself out, getting too hyped at the start side of it. Um, it just there was so much, you know, just kind of how to compose yourself, not about being composed, but how to kind of act, how to think, how to how to move. You know what I mean, like on the map when you're losing, kind of not ego channel stuff and still you know stick to the game plan those type of things so i appreciate taking it out from them man because that helped me a lot so yeah as well as it was tough but um, we go the next day loses round one play against i think it was i don't know what the team name was so my apologies but it was um my boy josh london versus um versus T legacy uh it was midget ryan shields and my guy kedge we're playing against them four um can't lie, it's a good thing that we lost that game because if we didn't and we had to play a team like this, I think we would have done what we've done against them where we kind of underestimated them. But you know, I've learned that listen, there's land, any team can be anyone, focus up. So I came to this game, I didn't get hyped, I was composed, stone cold. Um, and yeah, we won the game, but <laughs> we won the game just well. The SD we won it like comfortably. It was like, I don't know what the score was, but. It was, it was like I'm sure both teams can agree that like we were meant to win the map, but boy, can I tell you the map one was a a butch a butchy clencher, two fifty to two four nine on bow cage, and they didn't have it on the stream. We're on their main stage and they didn't have it on the stream. And I'm like I understand like the ACC had some problems and stuff, yeah, but some content was missed out on that day. Let me tell you, there's hell of people watching that game as well. But yeah, two fifty two four nine. Let me kind of set the scene for you. The amount was kind of close here and there. Um, I think the score was about 249 to them, 233 to us. So we needed 17. Good maths, Tom. 17 points to win. They needed about what? One. Wow, wow. How how did it take me that long to think of that? Okay. They needed the one point, yeah? We get P3 rotation. Tend the boys, stay calm. What have you got? You know, trying to, trying to communicate in that way. Um... And then we make the kills, we're making the kills, and I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, we're going to bloody do this. No way, these are going to choke. And we win the game. 
I pull up the scoreboard. I see we've won 250, 249. And I'm seeing Stunner, 52 kills. Leading the lobby in kills. I think Major had the same kills as me, but I mean. Kills me more when you win the game, I mean. So, 52 kills. Most hill time in the lobby, 235. Most defense in the lobby, 11. I'm doing it all. Oh, I forgot to mention. Going into this map, we had a role switch. So, I moved back from the flex to a sub, which was kind of my original role. Um, and Swin moved back from a sub to a flex, which he ran originally on this team, even though he was a sub. We thought, you know, just switch something up because our hard point just isn't working. I think the controls always going to be good. Let's just switch up. And it worked out for this map. I think it made a big difference. To be honest, probably not. It allowed me to play better. Um, but I don't know. I just think like it was weird because we practiced with me being in the flex for like the time we had I switched it. So it didn't really make sense. But you got to try something in it. So yeah, we win that. Super intense, like I said. Okay. Now. After that, we wait five hours, right? Five hours to play our game. Our losers round two. And we played the loser of Iniquity Esports, which was like JT and Co. And then the other team was Incentive, which was like Kels Rooney, Dizzy, Sketchy, Genesis. Genesis and Nomlot lose. Apparently got 100 point clubs in the half point. And they lost SND as well. So I can't like that. That gave me a little confidence. I'm like, I, I, thought, I already believed I could beat them, but I was like, right, these guys just got smoked. They're programming me a bit down. Um... Yeah, I can't lie, we literally played them, like, a game, like, they played, a game was played in the station, and then we played them. So we were waiting for five hours, and they just had a game, so, I can't lie, it was a bit, a bit, uh, a bit of a crappy situation, but, then again, it's not an excuse, because, from what I know, that happens at LAN all the time, like, with pro teams, like, a team will be at 10, and then there's a team that they're playing, that's already played that day, so, that's no excuse, we just got to be better there. Um, yeah, we lost that 2-0, surprisingly, and the thing that I was really annoyed with is because our hard point has been bad. And we actually played decent against them. I think the score was at 250... 250, 195, I think it was. So, like, it wasn't super close. It was, like, one hill um, in it. Um, but, yeah, they deserve to win. I think Dizzy's all dropped, like, 60 kills. The guy played really well. Um, and, like I said, man, just, our hard point was super bad. I thought, like, if we are ever going to beat, like, a good team, especially, like, a top 8 seeded team, it was going to be for SND and control. And this is where I got really annoyed with the way we played. We played SND Berlin, which is our best SND map. And then we had Berlin control after that. So we would have won this series if we brought it to a map three. And what happens? We lose the SND 6 1. We lost our best SND 6 1. And I get they're a good SND team, I'm sure, because they have, they have Genesis. I know he's been grinding SND for time. But I don't know, man. It's just like sometimes you just got to say you weren't good enough. And that just wasn't good enough from us as a team. It wasn't coordinated. We're just, you know, we're doing stuff out of sync. I, myself, was like, I was pinching stuff. I didn't need to pinch, and yada, yada, yada. Um, and it, was, it was an unfortunate loss, but at the same time, we deserved it. And, yeah, I mean, GG's turn, I guess. Like, they played well, and that was us out of the tournament. Um, so, yeah, it was a really sour way to, to get out of the tournament after waiting that long, having to play. And that's, again, like, at the end of the day, if I'm not winning, I'm not going to be happy. Like, even if I get second place. Make it upset. I'm not going to be happy. I'm a winner. I want to win. If I'm not winning, I'm not going to be satisfied. So, that's kind of my outlook on it. But I think overall, we didn't do that bad. Considering, you know, the fact that we had a week and a half practice. We didn't use the time well. We switched roles like twice. Um, we didn't have a main AR. Didn't have a flex. But we're, our flex running a main AR. And we had a sub running a flex. But the rules didn't really work. Um, and I think there's more positives to it than negatives because the event, for unfortunate reasons, wasn't run as smoothly as it could have been. The rest of it is being played online. So I guess it's not that deep if I don't win it. And I feel like I've taken a lot from it, like the experiences that I had. Also, I haven't, by the way, yeah, I'm making sure whenever I go to the next land or whatever, I'm either getting, like, I'm, like, going to get a hotel room for myself. Like, bro. I shout my boy quids. I appreciate him. Like, let me stay with myself. You see, sleeping on the sofa. That is not the one, bro. That is just like, bro. Like, I'm I'm trying to be like a champion. You know what I mean? Like a champion winning an event, bro. No offense, but champions don't sleep on sofas. You know what I mean? I want a hotel room for myself after I play a game. I can go there, get my mind right. I mean, it was it was a bit short, but it was all on me, honestly. I was I was I was the one who had that accommodation. I was the one who you know all this stuff. So. End of the day, 
this L's up taken. I'll learn from next time. Yeah. Um. So talking about what I could learn from the LAN, I learned about the kind of experience. I learned about how it feels to play at LAN. You know, having the three players beside you and the four players in front of you. How to compose yourself, when to be hyped, when not to be hyped. Um, and just kind of the mentality that you have to have. Like the LAN at times can be like a long process. Sometimes you've got to make a long run. Sometimes you've got, you got to keep your mind like, to keep your mind focused over a long period of time. For a couple of hours. It's quite hard, so that's one thing I kind of learned. Um, what we could have done better at the LAN, I mean, we could have... Could have spent more time for sure. Like in the week and a half we had, I feel like we were slacking a lot. Like we'd be playing two scrims and some of my teammates would just be going off. Like I feel like we definitely could have used our time more wisely. Um, like I said, we could have not overlooked them um, in the first round, and you know, tried our best to have, you know, really like. I mean, like I said, it was my first land, so I didn't really know the importance. I thought like you know, if you lose the first game, it's not that deep, but. I now know that every game, every game from start to finish is as important as each other. So that's another thing that I could be better. Um, and I mean, looking forward to next 2Ks or lands. Just about, you know, just trying to keep consistent, keep the content consistent to grow to my brand. Grind the game so I could keep learning more, improving, growing. Or looking towards that next 2Ks or lands and stuff. I mean, um, I guess, you know, you just got to keep the content consistent. Keep my name growing. The more people that know me, the better. Um, keep working harder to become a better competitor, a better player. Learning more about the game, learning more about myself. I just constantly, every day, put myself in a position where I'm uncomfortable and I'm forced to improve. Simple as that. Keep doing that. Consistent level. No one's going to stop me. Yeah. That was the uh, the post-game vlog of the ACCL Spring Invitational LAN. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not already subscribed, if you enjoy the content like. If you want to say anything, drop a comment. Your boy Stunner. We out.